Hello everyone, now today we're going to be talking about a bunch of cars I'd like to think I know about, but I'm over 30 now, so we brought along Frida, 24, our multimedia journalist, to give us all a helping hand. Now we're here with six cars, perfect for new drivers. Doesn't matter if you're 17 or 70, like my Aunt Betty, something here for everyone. And here they are. All right, so we've got a bunch of cars here, all available on Cinch. And I see, Frida, that we've started with a pretty premium offering here. This is a Volkswagen. I have started pretty high up, but this is available for well under 10K. Oh, nice. So you can get something that's kind of like a quirky alternative to the Polo, but for less money. It's quite small though, isn't it? But then at the same time, I see five doors here. So like, has it got enough power under the bonnet? It's only four seats and it's yeah. one litre. And it's very fuel efficient. So yeah, it's not going to be the fastest but it'll save you money. This three-cylinder engine as well, I really like the sound of it. It kind of sounds like a bit of a sports car, maybe Porsche. I mention this a lot with three cylinders. And because this is so small, you're really close to the engine. So it sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a really fun drive. So hang on a minute. I've had a look in the interior of this, Frida, and cars normally come with infotainment screens, but this doesn't have anything that looks like an infotainment screen. No, it doesn't have infotainment, but just shove your phone in and then your phone oh, yeah, it goes. entertainment. I can see it's pretty logical. So it sits in there. And I did notice when yeah, we got USB. in, there's the USB port up there so you can plug in your phone. So it's kind of like having Apple CarPlay or Android yeah. Auto. And it is quite nice in here. One thing I've noticed actually, and this is typical of Volkswagens, is most of the stuff in here is familiar from bigger models, which means it's good because the build quality is really nice. It's got a manual gearbox, minimalist, and it's clean. Uh, and the interior at the back as well, good space in the back. Do you know what? It's pretty spacious in here, isn't it? It's very spacious in here. And not just for me, it's spacious for you. I know, I mean, I'm, I'm just under six foot and I've got good amounts of headroom above me and even headroom to the side. Yeah, it's quite nice for two adults as well. Yeah. Because but it's you... only a four seater. There's nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. Space. That's it, loads of room under here. Because the seats up front are quite high as well, I can tuck my toes under in the front. And there's loads of knee room. Honestly, I'm very, very impressed with the space back here. Yeah. A lot of space. You could go to a festival, I imagine, and have your tent somewhere in the middle here and have your mates in the back. It's quite comfortable. Good boot space. For you, isn't it, a festival? I still go to festivals. Come on. Hey, the boot is kind of a surprise. It's more spacious than you'd think. Um, no, it's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, there's loads of room in there. There's a lot of extra room. It's really useful. You think you'd only get a shop, but you could easily get a bag under there as well for the weekend. That's nifty, didn't expect that. Good little up, eh? Very good little up. What about this one? The Vauxhall Forza, definitely the most recognisable learner car, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a car people have been learning in courses since, what, the 90s? Definitely a favourite for learners, and for good reason. Definitely a favourite, and it's got the biggest engine. It's got 1.4. So nice. it's got some kick. 1.4, that's something to consider if you're a youngster looking for insurance, it might be something to consider, but actually it's a very sporty looking thing. I love the color. It is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but then do you wanna go faster? I mean, come on, it's a Vauxhall Corsa. For good reason as well, these cars are very, very popular. It looks quite spacious in here, doesn't it? It is very spacious up front, definitely. And also you've got an infotainment screen down here. I can see it's... Uh, Pretty nice to use, few you buttons as well. Also, kind of premium, have heated seats and a heated steering wheel. Oh yeah, and I see, unlike that Volkswagen, but like most cars these days, this one has a proper infotainment system. It might be one of the most expensive cars here, but that is because it does have some of the best features. It's got heated seats, it's even got a heated steering wheel, which you can enjoy, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth. It's pretty good for a learner car. And I think I've just figured out that there are quite a lot of cup holders in this car. I've spotted two down here. There's two down here. I think we can count one in each of these doors as well. And oh my God, there are two in the back as well. That's eight cup holders in a car for five. All right, and so obviously this is a three door, which means there's no back door, but I mean, there's plenty of space there. That's not really gonna be any problems, is it? And surprisingly big boot, no? Oh yeah, there's plenty of room in there. Good work, Corsa. What's next? The Hyundai i10. Nice. Um, sensible driver among us. Yeah, this is a favorite with grandmas and grandpas, isn't it? But actually, it is. It's a really good car because I know Hyundai, they've upped their game in recent years. Now these guys are making cars that are great quality it's and I think they look safe. they look nice. Yeah. It's not the most emotionally exciting, but it is very functional. But it and doesn't have a proper infotainment screen. No, it doesn't. It's definitely not the techiest, but you know, you've got USB, you've got yeah. walks, yeah. you've got hands-free. Yeah. You've got everything that you you know need. There's everything in here you would need and actually 
the radio might be simple, but look at that, all big buttons, so easy to use. Oh my God, it's got... Oh no, I thought it was a CD player. Yeah, it doesn't it does, have a CD it does, player. It does have Bluetooth, even if it doesn't have a CD player. It's basic. There's a lot of space in the back. There's loads of room in here. That is very spacious. Not as many cup holders as the Corsa though. No, but it is very comfy back here. And I think you'll probably find that only a child will fit in the middle because it's not a very big seat. Yeah. But it's very roomy and you've got stuff like electric windows. And yeah, it's nice back here, even if it's not maybe the most luxurious. Very comfortable indeed, yeah, I reckon so. Boot. Ah, that's pretty big as well. Yes, good size. And spare tire. Wow, you do not see those these days. Very functional. Yeah. Nice. Very useful. Good for granny mechanics. It is, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure many grannies would approach that. Would they approach this lovely little thing? Fear 500. Oh, it's a 500S as well, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, means it's a bit sportier inside and outside. I mean, it looks it. It's hot some very nice accents. It's got a bit of black, it's got the red, it's got a chrome exhaust. It's a little bit more masculine than some of the Fiat 500s. Are you saying 500s are typically bought by girls? <gasps> My favourite with women, I have to say, I love one. They are great, and actually, I'll be honest as well, Like this is a nice spec, I do agree that this one feels a bit more neutral in its styling. Oh, and hang on, this is a car for new drivers, but I spot leather seats. And actually, all right, it's not that roomy in the back, but that's not too bad, it's quite wide. Small car, but pretty wide boot. And I spot a little bit of extra storage under here. Currently got a repair kit in it, but you could take that out. It's a very small car, but decent sized boot. Yeah, but they're not all small, because next up, Skoda Fabia, one of the most spacious here. Definitely one of the best if you're sharing with mum and dad. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dads always approve of Skodas, that's something I've learned. This one's pretty big all round, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and it's five door. Yeah. Pretty good, it's very spacious. Pretty sensible looks, I have to say. It's a nice interior as well, nice infotainment system. Nice interior, not as stylish as a Fiat, but for safety, it's actually really impressive. You get lane assist, you've got speed limiters, you've got rear parking sensors. It's very well kitted out. Yeah, it feels like you get a lot for your money. You definitely do. And I think it's one of the best if you've got a young family because there's just so much space in this car. Yeah, I can see that in the back. I think we should check it out though. Oh yeah, that is nice and spacious. Very nice and spacious. Oh, I like these seats. There's a bit of an angle as well, so you sit a bit further back. Yeah, lift that yeah, up. Yeah, adjustable headrests. Oh yeah. Nice, very comfy. And this is a proper middle seat as well. It is a proper middle seat. It's not huge, but I think you could squish another adult in. Of course, a bit of a throwback. What, the windows? Yeah. Yeah, it is, but you know, you got to economize somewhere. What you uh, lose in the windows, you gain in the safety, right? Fair point. And there's a lot of space in here and I quite like wind-ups. Okay, and I think this is a boot to get excited about. Oh yes, that's pretty spacious that, isn't it? And lots of cubby holes I spot down here as well. And, get ready. Ah, it's another spare tyre. Not as rare as I thought. Not as rare as I thought. <laughs> All right, next car. The French offering, the Renault Clio. I do like Renault Clios. I have one myself, albeit considerably older. Oh, it's pretty nice in here, actually. It's uh, like the Fiat being Italian. This has that kind of French feel to it. It's very nice in here, but it's also one of my favourite to drive because it's turbocharged and it's one of the fastest here. Oh, yes, yeah, a good three-cylinder engine in this one. Yeah, I do like the motor in this car it's and a manual be. gearbox. Yeah. yeah. And I'm spotting quite a bit of space as well. This is quite a big car again, isn't it? I actually really like this because it's kind of an alternative to the Corsa, but I think it's a that bit bigger. Yeah, it's quite stylish in here. Just like that Fiat had an Italianness about it. This feels nice and French. I like these dials up here as well. And I've noticed there are a few cup holders in here, but they are quite small, perfect for espressos. All right, so what's happening in the back? It's very nice back here. Pretty spacious, right? Yeah, absolutely. And is this the biggest? This is certainly the biggest middle seat we've seen today. Yeah, by far. Yeah. Full, full adult can fit in that. Proper five seater, this one, I think. And uh, I've noticed there's some pretty big speakers in this. It must be a pretty decent sound system as well. Yeah, it's got a special sound system, which has a very nice bass. <laughs> Last boot, but not least. Oh, that's Ooh. pretty spacious down there, isn't it? That is a good one to end on. Yeah, nice boot. Yeah, it's a nice car, this Clio. I do really like them, although I don't know if this is the one I'd choose out of this selection. Which would you go for? I think I'd have to go all the way back to start and pick the up. I really love that car. I'm going to surprise myself. I really like the Fiat 500 because I just really like the finish and spec of this particular car. Don't forget, though, to let us know what's your favourite down in the comments below. 
And of course, we're going to put a link to all of these exact cars in our description because they're all available to buy. And if none of them tickle your fancy, there are plenty more on Cinch. Like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. See you soon.